Max the coaster. 36 years old. Violation today at bus stop 34B. What's in the bag? Hair products, mostly. I'm just gonna hey, 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 hey. I'm just going to work. Thank you, citizen. No, thank you. Immediate extension of parole duration by a further Wait, eight months. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Elevation and heart rate detected. Wouldn't you like a pill? No, I am okay. Thank you. Are you being sarcastic and or abusive? Negative. Okay, so when I was watching this, yes, last night, I mean, you're getting beat up, you're running. It's just, it's nonstop brutality against you. Yes. So I guess, like, do you need a nap? Like, are I you- I feel like I need a nap. I'm a little sleepy. Yeah. Uh, no, it wasn't bad. You know, the uh, uh, the character takes quite a you know, a lot of punishment in the movie, but you know they always make that easy for the actors. Get we get coddled. So it was like so you weren't like what I saw. Like you were kind of it wasn't that bad. No, I mean like they call cut and someone comes over and gives me like a cappuccino. You know, it's like it's really not bad at all. Uh, what does this movie say about society and class? Would you say? Uh, I don't think it, it's trying to say anything. I think it's just it just kind of it just kind of shows you know kind of presents presents the presents that issue you know that uh, uh, you know the, the distinct difference between the haves and the have-nots. Do you think that that like in you know America? Because I kept thinking about that watching it last night in the U.S. Do you think we're experiencing that today? Just with the advent of what's going on today in the world and in the U.S. itself. Uh, yeah, to a degree. I mean, I think I think a science fiction movie will really work if uh, if you know, it's it's a whole new world, but it speaks to the world that we live in, you know. So, but not in a heavy-handed way. I mean, the first order of business for a big summer popcorn movie is to make it make a kick-ass movie and make it you know make great action and and all of that stuff. And I think it's something that Neil does really well. Like. Um, he makes really entertaining movies, but thematically there's a lot going on. Like District 9, you know, you can sit and enjoy it just as a piece of entertainment. Or, you know, you can talk to whoever you watch it with about the, 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 the larger themes. You know, when I play the character of Kruger, um, I'm taking special forces guys that really do exist in the world today, that go and live behind enemy lines, that if a president tells them to go execute XYZ person regardless of rules, regulations, whatever, amnesty, you know, blah, 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 they will do it. The world works like that. So I will take that and put that into crew. I will use that in my work. I'll just be like, I'm drawing on real life situations. Neil doesn't draw as much on other movies. You know, some actors may do the version that they saw Ed Harris play of a Navy SEAL and therefore they play the Navy SEAL. I'm more interested in drawing on real people. Um, so I drew, in this case, for my Special Forces guy, I drew on different South African stereotypes and I combined that in my work. And I do that as an artist influenced by the world that I've lived in and what, what I've grown up with. Neil, to me, is doing exactly the same thing. He doesn't have any specific political message. He's just, there are themes in the world that interest him and they will naturally sort of find their way into into his work. Welcome. Ah, oh, hello, madam. Cancer cells removed. Three undocumented ships are approaching Elysium airspace. Shoot them down. If Matt Damon was gonna spend a day on Elysium, what would he do? I'd just hang with my family, you know. Pretty, you know, maybe, maybe hang out by the pool. It's Elysium after all. Mm. Probably sort of how I'm spending today, you know, drinking, drinking nice uh, smoothies and just relaxing. This kind of is Elysium right now. Are, are there Starbucks on Elysium? Because I, I kept wondering, are there coffee shops? I think I think you have everything you want on Elysium. I don't think you actually have to go in to buy. You don't have to stand in a line. You know, I'm sure there's like a machine that you just go and you say latte, and the thing just comes out, and there you go. Do you get to hang out with Jodie Foster? Like, if you're there, like, does she come and you? Should, like... As long as it's Jodie Foster and not the character that she's playing in the movie. If it's Jodie, then that's awesome. Working with Miss Foster, what was a legend, legend, two legends coming together. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, so funny. <laughs> I, I uh, you know, 
22 years ago, she got the Hasty Pudding Award at Harvard. And I was there, and I was such a big fan that I went, I was one of the, you know, 500 people who were in the audience when she got the award, and she did an interview on stage and stuff, and um, I've always been a huge fan of hers, and so it was, uh, uh, it was cool to finally work with her. We only had one scene together in the movie, but, but that's okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. Activate Kruger. Follow me. Stay close. They will hunt you to the edge of the earth for this. You have no idea what you're doing. Let's talk a little bit about beating the crap out of Matt Damon. Hmm. Uh, Not easy to do, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, let's talk yeah. about those those scenes. Were there any mishaps? Did anyone get hurt? Surprisingly, no. Which was which was you know I sort of was thinking that there, there, there were both of us uh, a couple of days took a bit of strain on our lower backs just from the weight of the suit, um, and kind of needed to have some moments to 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 sort of just you know guys coming in and like trying to trying to make sure that we were okay you know physically to sort of keep going because it was incredibly demanding with the weight of the suits. But um, the biggest worry was, you know, clipping each other by mistake with it because it was such a close quarter combat sort of fight and there's a lot of UFC style sort of wrestling moves and things which you can't get doubles to do. You've got to go do it yourself. And, um, but thankfully, you know, none of us, you know, clipped each other with any of the hard sort of metal components because they really were the outside of the stuff was, would have caused real damage if you'd connected a guy by mistake. Could I trust you to like if we went out and someone came at me? Can I? Could would would you protect me? Like, could I trust you? I, it's a good, I, that's I mean, a good question. It depends on the context. My general philosophy, having grown up in South Africa, would be in any possible situation, avoid the fight, like always. So it's like I would only fight as a last, last, last. I wouldn't fight to try and be like, look what a hero I am. You know, I'll walk away, run away, anything. But if you put, if I, there was nowhere else to go, then it's like. You know, then a, then a different part of me would sort of take over. Just wrapping it up, you know, you're obviously a hugely successful actor. Is all this, at this point in your life, what you thought it was going to be? Uh, I don't think I thought this far ahead in my, like, pipe dream that I had when I was younger. I think it only went to, like, you know, basically Goodwill Hunting coming out and, and, then, and then getting another job. Like, that was, that was as far as I dared to dream. So I'm kind of on borrowed time. First thing you got to eat when shooting wrapped? When pizza. You did. Big piece of pizza. More than one. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Yeah.